Hello, I'm Dave Christensen coming to you today from uh, Home and Garden 911.com. I'm going to show you today the differences between two receptacle devices. Sometimes in our home we have to replace these, or if we have, if we're doing any, um, if we're putting an addition on the house, we'd uh, install a few of these uh, in new construction. But sometimes uh, it's. Uh, in almost every home, you have to replace these once in a while for various reasons, but if you do, I'm going to show you the difference between these devices. There's some real cheap ones you can get, and there are some more expensive ones that uh, people sometimes shy away from, but I'm going to show you this because I'm going to encourage you to go for the better model, and I'll show you why. I'm going to step closer to the camera so you can see these devices up close and personal. First, I'm going to show you the cheap one. This is called a uh, receptacle device, a duplex receptacle device. Uh, they've got two different posts. You can piggyback your circuits. You can like daisy chain them, go from one to the next to the next, where you'd have your input and your output. You have your different colored screws. You have your brass colored screw. That's where your, your hot or energized uh, conductor goes. And the, the silver colored screw is where your uh, neutral wire goes and this green one it doesn't look all that green but it is uh, that's where your bare copper grounding conductor goes now this is called a back wired device because uh, it's the installers choice he can either uh, wrap the wire around this post and tighten it down which is the preferred method or sometimes builders insist upon using this back wiring arrangement where you just stick the conductor into one of these holes and when you do so there's a spring clip in there that captures that bare wire bare copper wire and it holds it tight and you can't pull it out which is okay when the uh, when the installation is new but over time it does sometimes lead to problems it beca uh, connections become loose and that in itself creates problems and it's something that you can avoid by not using that um, that method of uh, connecting the wire to the device as i said many builders use that because it's a time saver they can fly through a room and wire all these up in short time they just stick the wire in there and run it's not the best way. The best way is to wrap the wire. A trained electrician will tell you with, with a, a good deal of certainty that the best method is to wrap the wire around a post, tighten that down, you got a good solid mechanical connection. And that's the way I do it and uh, that's the way I would encourage you to do it. Now in contrast, the uh, other more expensive model, this is called a specification grade or spec grade device it's uh it gets that name because the architect it's, it's used as a standard the architects will use this they'll specify this that's, that's why they call it a specification grade device the difference is it's a heavier duty it even weighs more you still have the posts uh, different colored uh, for the different color wire the clamping arrangement is different uh, instead of wrapping the wire, the bare conductor, around the post and tightening that down, you stick the wire into the hole right there, which reminds me of the other arrangement, but it's not the same. You stick the wire in there, you tighten that screw down, and it's actually a mechanical clamping device. And has a good, solid connection. So that's a nice device. The other difference is you have a wire here. These two screws right here, right here, that's used to hold the device inside the box to fasten this, uh, to retain this uh, device in the box in the wall. And you have a spring clip right here. I don't know if you can see it too well, right here, that's bonding with this screw. And that provides the bond you need between the metal frame of this device and the uh, grounding, the ground of the, the grounding conductor of the circuit. Uh, which is important so uh, in part two I'm going to show you how what the proper way of connecting a wire to the uh, to this device this is this spec grade is pretty self-explanatory I'm going to show you this cheaper model 
uh, and I'm going to encourage you not to use the back wiring arrangement but to use the post I'm going to show you the proper way to do that again it's Dave Christensen from home and to garden 911.com please visit us often and if you think this uh, this video demonstration is helpful to you I hope it is to someone please hit hit the like button and if there's anything that you have a question about on our website please leave a comment in the form of a question uh, if there's anything you'd like to see I could perhaps um, address your question if it's something that I have background in or expertise on or any perspective on I'd be happy to do that again Dave Christensen home and garden 911.com thank you